Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Shamir Shell Project. In this week's episode, I am going to take a fantastic bike ride, fantastic for me for sure, uh, in preparation for spring and going into summer when lockdown is eased even a little bit. Um, as you can see, my bike's in the back, it's all packed up. I've got my bike packing bags loaded on the bike and it's all about testing out the kit, going out, making sure it's well balanced and making sure that it doesn't wobble around and everything is nice and tight on the bike. And I am going to do approximately 20 miles. Um, I'm glad to say I've got all my work done. I'm up to date with most of my stuff and now I can actually go out and actually enjoy some of this weather that we're having, the early spring weather that's trying to push through but I'm really looking forward to good spring weather and summer weather and the easing of the lockdown. So um, let's get outdoors and have a ride and test out the uh, balance of the bike. My name is Shamir Shah. I'm a landscape photographer, passionate adventurer, mountain biker, and a devoted conservationist. A few years ago, my freedom and independence was nearly taken away from doing what I love by becoming a carer for my special needs son. Since then, I've doubled the stakes of my mission to make nature and the outdoors an inseparable and fundamental part of every family. This has now become my project. Here we are, on the road. We've got about 15 to 20 miles per hour winds for the balance. Seems pretty decent. The bike feels sturdy in the wind. Of course, I am on tarmac and not on gravel or too much of a bumpy road. So that's a test for another day because this route, there is no gravel. massive hill coming up it'd be a good test to see if there's any wobble any movement on the saddlebag as I climb the hill oh yeah very sturdy The bike's heavy as hell, but the bags are strapped on very well. I'm pretty impressed. I'm very impressed. So far. Okay, got another big hill to climb. From the point of view of the camera, these, these hills might not look like anything. But they are, they are half decent. And the bike is heavy. With all the gear. I'll tell you exactly what I have in all the bags. I'll give you a brief overview. Whew. Yeah.
Okay. I stood up to do the climb this time around. For the last climb, I stood up to give her a little bit of welly right at the end. And I can happily say there was only a tiny bit of sway on the saddlebag. Only a tiny bit of sway. Not bad at all. I'm very impressed. In an ideal world, I would have a tripod to hold up my camera. But as I'm on a bike, uh, checking out this bike packing rig and testing it to make sure that it's stable, well grounded while I'm riding, whether I'm climbing a hill, going downhill, taking a turn, it's got to be sturdy because the worst thing you want is a wobbly bike as you're climbing a hill, going downhill, hitting some 15 to 20 mile per hour winds or even stronger. Today we've got 15 to 20 miles per hour winds, but uh, testing is really important before you get out. And for me, it's ultra important because this is a sort of recently put to test kit, recently bought kit that I'm testing out. So I'll just give you a rundown, a very quick overview of what I've got and then tell you the weight of it with the bike. So the bike is about 10.5 kilograms. It's part alloy and a lot of carbon. Um, on my front, I've got the handlebar bag with a little pocket, a bit of food in there, some camera gear in there. And here is all my sleeping kit. So all my tent, uh, the mats, the fly sheet, the ground sheet, all that stuff. And therefore pretty heavy but that weighs about 3.5 kilos. So just under 3.5 kilos. Then we've got my top tube bag and my frame bag. In my top tube bag, it's just snacks, my phone, bits and pieces, uh, a mask in case I wanna go in a shop, grab some stuff. In my frame bag right there, I've got my uh, toolkit for the bike, I've got spares for the bike, uh, some power bars, energy bars in there, and on this side I've also got a tripod. So I know in the beginning I said in the ideal world I'd have a tripod with this camera and I'll be showing you what I've got on the bike, but I can't be bothered to take it out. But it's right here. There you go. It's a mini tripod, very sturdy, works really well. Right. I've got my pump, that's a foot pump. Very, very good pump for Presta and Shredo valves. Drink bottle. I've only got one bottle for the moment because that's all I need right now. On the saddle bag, it's uh, all my clothes. I've got my sleeping bag right in the back. I've got all my clothes for overnighters. Uh, I've got extra clothes for riding. I've got my cookware, all my kitchen items for cooking, eating. I've got some food in there as well. And, uh, and that's about it. On my backpack that I've got on me, a very small backpack. And I'm gonna carry a hydration pack in there. Can take up to three liters, depending on how far I'm going, depends on how much I'm gonna carry. Um, and I'll probably carry my immediate items that I would need, such as rain wear, rain gear, uh, rain top, a change of uh, a shirt if I get really wet, but it doesn't weigh much, it's very lightweight. The majority of this gear is very lightweight. So there's a quick rundown for you. I'm gonna have a bit more water and then jump on the bike again.
So I got a tiny bit of gravel, <laughs> not much to test the setup, but better than nothing. really enjoying the setup I'm enjoying the bike I'm loving this ride if I can be honest oh yes finally some gravel gotta love some gravel Oh yes. Okay. Well, this must be the smoothest gravel that I've been on. Something wilder would have been nice. A bit rockier, a bit bumpier. Sort of like what I had at the beginning of this gravel trail. Looks like that's it. Okay, so there was a little bit more sway on the gravel. So when it's slightly bumpier, the saddlebag wobbled around a bit more, which happens with every saddlebag. No doubt about that. But I feel like I should adjust the way I pack my saddlebag a little bit more a bit more organized heavier in the bottom and lighter at the top that's exactly how I have it at the moment but I think I can make it a little bit more heavier at the bottom and a lot more lighter at the top so that it reduces the amount of sway okay we'll give it a go when I get back There was a little gravel trail here from what I remember, and there it is. Oh yeah. Must take in as much gravel as I can get. Coming through! Coming through! Coming through! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you!
Here comes the rain, na 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 na. Here comes the rain, and I say, Where's the sunshine? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I'm back that's it guys finish the ride it was absolutely exhilarating I did 20 miles just just over 20 miles actually and it was mostly tarmac but a bit of gravel as you saw and it was absolutely amazing it wasn't the sunniest days but it wasn't cold at all and it's rained just a little bit while I was out but thoroughly enjoyed it um, so the bike rode really well the bags worked out really well too. They balanced themselves perfectly via my packing and they were very sturdy and balanced on the bike. As I mentioned earlier, the bike weighs about 10.5 kilos and um, the bags are a bit heavier in terms of what normally goes on a bike. So I've got 3.5 kilos, I believe 3.5 on the back, the frame back, I don't know about the frame back here, um, but I will put down the exact figures on the video so that you have an understanding of how much I'm carrying in these bags. Now the whole idea was simply to go out, enjoy myself, go for a ride, get some exercise in, get out of the house from this lockdown. Um, at the same time, prepare myself for spring and summer where I am going to go bikepacking and I'm sure I'm going to make my videos a bit more interesting than what you just saw. Uh, I'm afraid it wasn't the most interesting video but hey you know I had to record this for myself so I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm out on those bigger adventures. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you loved what you've seen please hit the like button for me. It's the first time I'm doing this on a bike sort of thing. Uh, well actually second or third time but in a bike packing setup. I am also going to say thank you so much to all my supporters and my wonderful fans who've been with me all this time. If you're not a supporter or a fan or a subscriber to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe right here or down below. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Uh, would you like to see more bike packing videos from me? And I will see you out and about. <laughs>